Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. Today, no pieces today, just a little bit of getting used to the boat and a little bit of change within the boat, but you'll see that when we get changed, get ready, a little bit of changing to the boat and then get on the water. So we'll see you there. And we have made it back on the water, on the dock, in the pair wind, the learn to row pair, Robson. Hi there. As you can see, the order has changed. And that's what today is all about. The boat selection, the boat choosing, the boat, the boat, the people you're in the boat with, the boat boats. boats the boats for trials at Leander Club. But we have to go do a session on the water and we'll get to chatting about that later on. So see you. Out there. Are you? Finished a little bit of session there, some learning to row again in the bow lounge with Robson over here. But now it's time to go get some food because remember, food is fuel. And we've made it into the crew room after the session in the pair in the bow lounge to get some food because remember, food is fuel. The second breakfast for us are not the greatest at the moment due to time constraints and the lack of kitchen, so. Lack of breaded egg toast. Callum has some chutney, which is fantastic. Everyone else seems to have bagel-related things. And uh, Robson has some some shortbread. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. High form but nutrition. As, we can, as you saw in the title, I can see in the title, we're talking about how the boats themselves are selected. So how did Robson and I go from switching round from bow to stern and stern to bow, etc. And how did the other boats get selected? Well... It really depends on the pair. Some pairs uh, do a lot of trials throughout the year, so the pairs are selected through that. Um, at the club, we do testing within the club, so the coaches select the pairs from there. And so mostly, most of the selections are done through the coach's discretion. So they see the athletes row every day, and they say, okay, this person is better in this seat, that person's better in that seat, this combination could work better than that combination. And so they put them together and try them out and then switch throughout the year. But there's also combinations that have been at the club for a while, like George and Harry, they've been together for about 17 and a half years. So, <laughs> so they know what they're capable of. So maybe, so they stick together. And we've got other pairs like Robson and I are relatively new as a pair but we are big lads with reasonable ergs, so they thought, okay, why not put us together? And with Barney and Callum as well, they're the lads, so they get to go in the lads pair. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's up to the coaches really, it depends on lots of different things. So how you've done in testing, how you've done in training, how you've done on erg, how you've, sometimes it's even down to how much time you've spent 
rowing at all. Because a lot of people don't even get in the boat because they're too inconsistent. So a lot of people, or a couple of guys, have been ill here and ill there, and then have missed some things and they've not had those sort of positive or negative things to their name where they could defend themselves and say, this is where I should be, but they've been ill and Sorry, missed that. So, Robson, anything to add to selection? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, you covered it all. But now we're going to keep on fueling up, eating up, recovering for the next session. We're going out a little bit of a shorter one, doing some bursts in the new combo, in the bow lounge, just in the armchair. Relaxing. Just try to follow Big Robson. But first things first, we got to get recovered, fueled, and on the water. Oh, yeah. there. And we're just about to get in the water. End of our lounge. Let's get to it. And now the boat is on the water. Let's get over there. Get the paddling. Oh, you too. Go. And that's us finished the session for today. Finished both sessions. A lovely half day on this sunny Wednesday. The sun is out. Time to get the guns out. Oh, yeah. But as always, after a session, after any session, one must fuel up because remember, food is fuel. So we're going to get back to the club. Unfortunately, another day without breaded egg toast, egg toast, IP breaded egg toast. But it's been awesome to row here at the London 2012 Olympics venue for rowing and other water sports. And obviously it's even better to be in the bow seat of the learn to roll pair, just watching the magnificent Robson. But now to get in the car, again Robson's vehicle, his speed machine. Nice and safe drive back to Leander and we'll see you there. Oh yeah. And we've made it back to the club outside of the club. We've got a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, getting a bunch of energy. Just being outside with the sun on your back, on the top of your head. Hopefully it stays at this for a while. But as you can tell, my voice is not matching up to the video. I just hit the microphone out of the porch. And I didn't realize, unfortunately. But what I was saying was all about the trials process and how the boats get selected. So like I mentioned before, it's really all up to the coaches and how and the people that go together are mostly down to those choices from the coaches and based on their experience based on what they see day in day out that's who goes in what seat obviously if there's a pair that doesn't necessarily go as well together or maybe the the athletes themselves think mm, me and this other person they don't quite work together you can talk to the coaches and say, look, I don't think it's going to work. Is there another combination or can something else work? But ultimately it is up to the coach's discretion to say, okay, I've got, I've done this for however many years and I can see that you and blah, blah, blah can go fast. So let's give it a shot. Or they take what you've said in con into consideration and sort of change that pair or four or eight or quad or double or whatever it is to make the fastest boat but what happens now we have trials coming up in a couple of weeks or less than a couple of weeks now and that is also another testing phase for us at the club and so throughout the year we have all these tests with gb trials 
we use those to say who is who performs better, who isn't as good in a pair or whatever. But but then we're going to see about doing trials or testing after uh, the trials that come up, and then trials is the final sort of opportunity to people to for people to break back into the team. So we have to do very well there to see what happens. But that is in about a week and a half, and then all is sort of decided on that. But for now, as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you've made it through hump day on this gorgeous sunny day and hit that like button and have a good one.